Yuga. So you're Kazuma Kiru. So this isn't him, yeah. Either that or he lost his memory. Huh? Yeah. Beautiful eyes. Beautiful eyes. Like I heard from my brother from before. My brother. Oh, he has a twin brother? He has a twin brother? <sighs> Interesting. A plot. Chapter 9. That Kazama looking guy really said all that? Yeah. Can't help but wonder what he wants. All we know for sure is that he's somehow wrapped up in the whole mess somehow. What's wrong? You still hurt? Yeah. Not really. Aniki, I just don't know what to think of all this. Well, that guy with the mustache, why the guy with the mustache saved my life? Specifically after he shot the boss, why help me? Especially after he shot the boss, okay. Rikia. I need to head back to Okinawa. I have some loose ends to tie, to tie up up here. But you, there's nothing keeping you in this city. But, just hear me out, okay? Right now, we don't know whether the man in the sketch is a friend or a foe. Go home, be safe. Take care of Saki for me. Watch after Morning Glory. Can you do that? Hi. Yeah. It doesn't matter anyways, like, Mel, Mel's not making, like, $750,000 a year off of it anyways. What's up? What? The chairman of the Hakuo? Hey, Kiryu. You know Mine from the Hakuo clan? Sounds like he swung over to here to see you. Oh, nice. Did you enjoy it? He's just got a shit ton of money, huh? A gaudy place like this has been underneath Kamarucho all this time? Who would have thought? Well, you want to talk to me? Yes, you must forgive me. I'm afraid my organization is part to blame for all the trouble you've been facing. BDO, what's up, buddy? I'm here to hold myself accountable. Accountable? Yes. How you doing, BDO? It's good to see you, friend. I knew that was money. Kanda. Kanda. Brought him Kanda's head. <laughs> My Mine. What is the meaning of this? Kiru, you dirty son of a bitch. You're not getting away with this. What's in the box? <laughs> the hell's the stone face for? Huh, Mine? Don't just sit there twiddling your thumbs. Say something, jack off. Aniki, this is my office. I suggest you be a little more respectful. You could shove your respect. If you weren't so damn chill about everything, I'd never have to got my ass whipped by Kiru. I told you in the officer's meeting, I don't consider Kiru-san my enemy. This wouldn't have happened had you not gone looking for a fight. Now I'm getting lectured by some lip dick coward, huh? Well, I don't want to hear it. Oh, no. This breaking pr priceless shit. Oh, 
You hear me, Mine? Give me your cash and your boys. Hero ain't surviving the night. And then I'm going to be seventh chairman. I'll even let uh, you be my captain. <laughs> you truly are a fool, aren't you? The shit? I dare you to say that again. The collection you just demolished was worth over one billion yen. Like I give a rat's ass. You wipe your shit stains with that kind of cash. Money isn't the issue here. You just seem to be perceive. You can't seem to perceive worth. Neither that. What was that? Perceive this, you little shit. I realize I failed to mention this before. But the truth is, I'm much stronger than I look. He kind of asked for it. Mine. Mine. You're useless to me now. Except perhaps as my apology to Kirosan. Take his head. Don't do it here. He's made a big enough mess as is. Yes, sir. Hold. Hey, hold on a second. Mine! Wait! Mine! Mine! It's good to see you, though, big video. Wee! Mmm. I suppose it was my fault for allowing Kanda to rise so far above his station. Now you have my deepest apologies. Can we consider this Niki Nishiki I'm a family incident revolved? Resolved? I can't talk. I plan to assemble the Tojo clan families without delay and attempt to restore order. As for Hamazaki, my Hakuo men are searching for him. Though, I suspect he won't turn up. Do you have some idea where he might have gone? I do. I imagine he's no longer in the country. What do you mean? The head of the Japanese stake follower branch, La Lao Kaolong, is dead. Stake follower headquarters would never accept such failure. And given Hamazaki was Lao's partner, they've surely kidnapped him in retaliation. The rest of his family was apparently found floating in the Yokohama Bay. That's the snake flower, all right. In any case, without us even having to lift a finger, the Hamazaki family is gone. Excuse me, I plan to search out the snake flower headquarters to hopefully prevent any further bloodshed. That so? Kyo-san, the Tojo clan is on a knife's edge. We need you now more than ever. I suggest you take care of yourself. Farewell. Who told you to handle things like this? I'm not sure I follow. Then let me restate. Would Diego have done the same thing in your shoes? I doubt it. Then why are you... Well, Diego is no longer the one giving orders. This, this decision was mine and mine alone. By the way, Kiryu-san... Some of the blame for all this rests on your very shoulders. Daigo-san told me everything about your orphanage in Okinawa. You're a coward. No regard for the position you hold. You may think you're turning over a new leaf, but it's all meaningless. More mere hypocrisy. What? 
I intend on moving forward in the way I see most fit. Methods aside, I do see myself as the successor Diego San's legacy. Mine, you. In other words, every last thing I do is done with the aim of uh, aiding the Tojo clan. A motive I'm sure Daigo san would approve of. Anyone that stands in my way will be eliminated. Even if that person is one of our own. I'll never understand it. What could Daigo san see in a man like you? Mine, you've lost your way. Excuse me? And someday, I'll prove it to you. I don't expect you will. I have nothing uh, to learn from you. Dun dun dun! <sighs> Didn't think Mine was the kind of guy to slaughter one of his own like that. Pretty fucking brutal. Wouldn't you say, Kirachan? At least Kanda's out of, out of our hair, and Hamazaki's probably fish bait by now. Mine, it's all over. Everyone who was trying to rub you and Dago out of the picture is finished. Yeah. Well, not exactly. Hamazaki was a traitor, there's no question about that. And thanks to the snake flower, he and his family are no more, but that doesn't mean this is the end. There's still the man who looks like Kazama. I doubt he would have put a bullet in Dago just for the hell of it, meaning someone's probably given him orders. That's the only explanation for him shooting Nakahara and stealing the land deed, too. He can't be working alone. Hamazaki's the most obvious suspect since he was after control of both the resort and the Tojo clan. But if the Kazama guy was working for Hamazaki, why would he go out of his way to save Kiru and Rikia? There are still, uh, there are still a ton of question marks here. Kiru. Kiru. I'm going to try to find out what happened to Hamazaki. Forrest, do me a favor and look into Mine in the Haku, uh, Haku oh clan while I'm gone. Oh. Mine, at this point, Tojo leadership's spread and practically decimated. Majima and Mine are the only ones, are the only two left standing. You play, you apply and I got a horse in this race? <laughs> if I, if I was, I sure would have said it to your face. Oh. All right. I'll see what I can dig up on the Haku, Hakuho and the Kazama lookalike. Speaking of Kazama-san, his family is leaderless now that Kashiwaga-san is gone. Think you could step up in his place, Majima-san? Oh, and be careful. I'm not sure of the other families who will try to take advantage of the power vacuum this creates. I er sure. You got it, Kiru-chan. Kiru, let me know the second you learn anything. I will. Well, all that's left to do is put the plan in action. We'll be in touch. Heh. <laughs> Guess I got a date with the Kazama family. First things first, I've got to make sure Rikia gets back to Okinawa. The least I can do is see him to a taxi. All right, Rikia, it's time to get for you to go back. Yeah, come on. I'll take you over to a taxi. If we leave now, we should be able to get you on the next flight down. It's okay, Anaki. I can go on my own. Barely any time has passed since the snake flower tried, tried to murder you, Rikia. You shouldn't be out by yourself. Not yet. Yeah, I guess you're right. Let's go. Anaki! 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 I have no idea what this means, but. Let's go fight while we're here. Anaki! Anaki!
Okay, let's go. Four guys left. Fucking amount of damage everything does in this game is just fucking kind of funny. I just want to level up a little more like this the fucking uh what? it's the clown guy from the first game Death with the traffic on man. Here you go. Got five thousand yen, and that's all. Let's go. Really? 
This guy just drop a stone cold stunner on me. I fucking... Oh, yeah. Why is a guy in a suit and a fucking lucha, uh, lucha door mask fucking hysterical to me? Jesus Christ. God damn it, dude. I know he is. I, I don't even understand how he did that. Like, it was really stupid. Whatever. I guess I have enough for one of them. That sounds like a good thing to upgrade with. Anarchy! I make a good I make a good punching bag, I guess. Okay. I'm just gonna run around. Anarchy! Anarchy! What's this you'd want? Pitsy, what's up, friend? Welcome to this shit show. Uh, 
fuel up a little bit. How you doing, friend? Uh, email. Okay, I gotta go pee again. My tiny bladder, but I will be right back. Right back, just peeing. Whee! Let's go! Back. We're back. This game, like, seems like we're getting towards n uh, near the end already, I'm which dead. is odd. Yep, I was peeing again. Rikia, this taxi will take you to the airport. Make sure you get it on your flight, okay? Aniki, Aniki I, I'll be fine. Just make sure Nakahara and the kids are safe. After all. We still don't know who's uh, who we're up against. It sounds like this whole thing is out of the Tojo clan's hands, at the very least. No, I just... I drink a lot of coffee and water and... I don't know, Berserk or someone. And with Nakahara still in the hospital, you're the only one those kids can rely on. Same goes to the Ryu Ryuta family. They're all counting on you, Rikia. Uh. Right. I won't let them down. Anyways, guess it's time for him to go. Try keeping yourself out of harm's way, okay, Anake? Yeah, I'll be home soon. Jesus. Kiryu Kazuma no na. Is this Kazuma Kiryu? Soda. It is. Who's ah. asking? Boy, this is the Tamiya. Minister of Defense, Tamiya. Tamiya. Da to. Tamiya. As you're aware, I had been in contact with Daigo Dojima regarding the proposed Okinawa deal. Ah. Yeah, your secretary told me, told me all about the, it a year or so ago. No, I don't think so. Right, unfortunately, after Daigo De Dojima was shot, the Suzuki supporting members of the Tojo clan flung onto, into overdrive, attempting to push the resort. I, in turn, I had no choice but to ensure my military expansion bill passed as well. What do you mean? I thought the resort started back started back up because you tried to pass your bill and not the other way around. Not exactly. My attempts to see the military expansion bill passed were the result of a third party. My hand was forced. <laughs> and what does this, any of this have to do with me? Moshi, Moshi, Joe Biden speaking. I need you to do me a favor. Keep the resort from starting up again? Not quite, though the end result will ultimately lead to that. I'm not sure I follow. Aren't your base and that resort some kind of linked pair? If the resort doesn't happen, neither will your base. This matter is regrettably not as simple as that. Regardless, if you still want to put a stop to this resort deal, come to my office in the Diet Building. The Diet Building, huh? You heard me. I'll have my driver wait for you in front of the Millennium Tower. He'll bring you to me. Fine, I have a few questions of my own that could use answering. Moshi, Moshi, Joe Biden. God, we could just sit here and talk on the phone for an hour? What's the scoop, Kiru? Datasan, I just got off the phone with Tamiya, the Minister of Defense. What, wh why would he want to talk to you? I wish I knew. 
Either way, it looks like someone from the Tojo clan is still pulling the strings in all this. Tamiya also mentioned some kind of third party being involved. He asked me to come to the Diet Building to talk to him in person. I'm about to head over. To the Diet Building? How are you going to get there? He's sending a driver over. Apparently, we're meeting in front of the Millennium Tower. Wait, Kiru. Take me with you. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. So want to meet up outside the Millennium Tower? And risk making Tommy, uh, Tamiya's driver suspicious? Probably not a good idea. Let's head over there together, okay? Where are you now? At Serena, as always. I'll see you out front. Yeah, no no one's down here besides, like, a bunch of stuffed animals for my dogs, uh, Pitsy. My dogs have, like, a billion toys. My dogs have, like, all the toys in the world. Toys, toys, and more toys. Um... Kind of need, like, to buy shit, like, taxi... These are bars, Earth Angel, Shalik. Club Asia, Massage Bar, Club Shrine, HLA Quarters, Pawn Shop. I don't know, maybe we got a uh, pawn shop, I don't know. Oh. Really, dude? Beat his ass. I'm beating everyone's ass. Motherfucker, fat dude in a fucking weird sweater. I love how after every fight, it looks like I've killed everyone that I fought with. Get out of here, Boggle. He's like, here's five bucks. I try I'm sorry I tried to beat you up. Here's five bucks. <laughs> More like 50 bucks, but still. I'm sorry I jumped you. Here's 50 bucks. I didn't even run into that asshole. Bada boop. How did his sunglasses stay on his face when I kicked him in the face like that? The wrong way. Fucking camera in this game, man. Why is this guy with an ugly Christmas sweater trying to fight me? Why is the gangster wearing an ugly Christmas sweater? Like, I assume this is at Christmas time because we're always during Christmas time for some reason for these games, but... It seems like the more games we went into, they uh, added more blood. Okay. 
I like how these guys run up to me. Like, I'm literally just running down the street, and they're like, I'm gonna fight you now. And it's like, but I didn't do anything to you, asshole. God, the inventory system in this game is just fucking terrible. You can carry like eight things around. <laughs> Sorry, Dasan got here as fast as could. Don't worry about it. Gotta say though, Tamiya ringing up. Yeah, hopefully meeting him will clear some things up. Hope so. And don't forget that Tamiya is one of the biggest political figureheads in the country. He knows what he could be planning. In other words, we should be ready for anything. You, you good to go? Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Great. Time to swing by the Millennium Tower then. And if you guys haven't listened, uh, we put on uh, Thursday the uh, Murder Moose episode with Classy Katie came out. And it was dope, so go listen. We talked about the menu. And it was fun times. And we talked about what's a lemon because... Why wouldn't me? Ah, you must be Kazuma Kirusama. Yeah, and you're Tamiya's driver, right? Actually, his secretary. You could call me Higaki, sir. And you, you're from the media, yes? Yep. Name's Data from the. Key Hin News. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid I can't allow you to report it to. Now hold your horses. Now, what we have here is a prominent government official arranging a private meeting with the ex-chairman of a major crime syndicate. If you don't let me come, I'll have to write an article based on that info alone. And who knows what kind of conclusion I could draw from that. But... It's the... So I have two channels, Bob, for some reason. I have, like... They're split up. I have my own channel has like a hundred and plus view to viewers or subscribers, and then the other one is like one. Here, watch. I'll show you this. Uh, I don't know if I have them all in, even logged in here. Yeah, they're probably fucked up because, oh, I don't have everything signed in. I'll show it to you later. It's I have, like, three YouTube channels, though. For, one's for Murder Moose, one's for the podcast, and one's, like, my personal one where all my gameplay stuff goes. I got to fix that then, Bob. I didn't even realize it was fucked up. Yeah, my YouTube has all my gameplay from the last year plus or so. Here, I'll, here, I got my phone. Like, it's this one is here. YouTube. So I have this one with the, uh, that has Gizmo's, uh, Rod Johnston 69 is the real one, I guess. See, so yeah, I have like. Yeah, if you put Rod Johnston 69 in there, it it works. But like, I don't know why. I don't know, Bob, because I'm bad at all of this. You're younger than I expected. And that is. Name's Dada with the Kian News. I'm researching Suzuki's link with the Tojo clan. Ah, the famous detective turned reporter. 
The one with Gizmo one is like, can I offer you a gentleman dr yeah. a drink? No thanks. I hear you're running an orphanage on a piece of land earmarked for the resort. That's right. Rumor has it, that's why Diego Dojima backed out of the deal. What's your point? My point is, our objectives in all of this are aligned. Meaning what? Yeah, YouTube is a weird thing, man. You want to put an end to the resort? Yes. So what happened was, Bob, when I split up, I had to split up my fucking YouTube to, like, make it so I could uh, let people come in and make my, you like, put videos on there. Thanks, Bob. And when I did that, it split everything up. And for somehow, it took my, like, I have my Yahoo email address I've had forever, but it's linked to my Google and then they all go through my murder mo I don't it's all a fucking mess, man. You wanna put an end to the resort, uh, yes? So yeah. I too find that the most preferable outcome. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Without the resort, won't your military expansion bill be doomed to fail? It will, yes. However, that doesn't matter now. Yep, it doesn't matter why not. It's simple. I had no intention of passing that bill in the first place. What? Explain yourself to me. Your military expansion bill, the resort deal. We want to know everything. As long as you don't forget the favor I mentioned earlier. What's the real purpose of your military expansion bill? My goal in all this is... Yeah, Pitsy, the... The the pacing of this game seems weird compared to the other ones. It's like it seems way more compact compared to the other games. And bringing a highly secretive so global so syndicate so to light so and destroying them. What, like some mafia involved in the resort? If it were only that simple. The organization I'm attempting to expose is known only as Black Monday. Black Monday. Black Monday. Wait, you mean the black market arms dealers? I see you're a reporter with your, worth your salt. That's right. The year was 1987. With the cash crash of the New York Stock Exchange, the world was thrust into economic depression. A man named Andre Richardson and his followers were thought to have orchestrated the whole thing. Both the day and his group were given the black name Black Monday. I concocted this Okinawa military scheme as a means of smoking them out. Smoking them out? What do you mean? As you know, this base has been touted as the linchpin of the revolutionary BMD system. Trillions have been spent on its development. Imagine how much the plans alone would be worth. It's no chump change, that's for sure. With the combined effort of our superior technology and America's advanced weaponry, this new BMD system, once installed at the Okinawa base, would make us nigh untouchable by hostile nations. Japan would be the safest country known to man. Any possible threat from the rest of Asia would be essentially non-existent for decades to come. They're putting something like that in Okinawa? This BMD system would, could bring about a massive shift in the global balance of power. At least that's what everyone had been led to believe. 
Led to believe. That's correct. It was absolutely vital that we propagated those rumors. What are you getting at? Consider this highly advanced weapons technology. Who might be interested in making off with it? Hold on. You're not talking about Black Monday? Indeed, I am. With clientele based all over the world, they're always on the lookout for new wares. And with these rumors circulating around the international market, well, the end result isn't too difficult to imagine. This isn't an opportunity they could pass up. So all this BMD stuff was just bait to draw Black Monday out into the, into the light? Same goes to the military expansion bill. It, it was just a fake to trick them into resurfacing. Fake or not, I had to act as though I was insistent on passing it. That's why I suggest the resort to Suzuki. By pairing our two proposals, I could keep both my bill and my scheme alive. In other words, this tactic led me to deceive every last citizen in our country. It was the only possible way. But you said you don't care about the bill passing anymore. Does that mean? Yes. After all this time, I finally ensnared Black Monday. Are they the guys in the black suits then, too? Then you never planned on running against Suzuki to be prime minister, either? Such a thing is for the young and vain. I have no interest in the position. But if even America's wrapped up in this, it's too big for you to have planned alone. Right, you are. I'd like to speak further to the po that point as well. Pitsy, they love exposition dumps in these games. Do you have any further questions? So to me, it came up with the military expansion bill to uh, lure out an international arms smuggling syndicate known as Black Monday. Their leader, Andre Richardson, would no doubt be drawn in by the BMD system they're proposing for Okinawa. In other words, the only reason Tamiya was so insistent on the military expansion was so he could stamp out Black Monday once and for all. He has to be working with someone, though, someone with connections to the U.S. Army. That person holds the key to all of this, which I'd ask about. Uh... Do you know the man who shot Dago? Pitsy, thank you for the follow. Fortunately, I can so. Now following. Yeah, so I have those games too. I just started playing last year, though. I played zero and then took a couple, like, and then in December, I started playing uh, uh, one and two, and now I'm at three. You mean that Kazama look like, right? Damn, wish he knew what he wants. Wait, did you say Kazama? Is he the one who pulled the trigger? Do you know him? Hmm. If the Kazama I know and the one you're talking about are the same man, that is. Then tell me, this Kazami know, just who is he? Joji Kazama. Younger brother Shintaro Kazama, former patriarch of the Kazama family you once belonged to. Kazama's son had a brother? You weren't aware? No. I see. I suppose it's not a surprise he meant... Okay, okay. Why? This is a serious question. And I know it's not really... He said Kazama was his brother. And they were like, what? He had a brother? Like, he told us that he was his brother. I suppose it's not as crazy as never mentioned the fact. It's not? No, you see, after Shintaro lost both his parents at a very young age, his brother Sh Joji was his only surviving relative. Such a bond is nigh unbreakable. Huh? If he and Joji were really that tight-knit, you would think he would mention the guy to Kiryu. How close they were doesn't matter. 
There's simply no chance they could have lived as normal brothers, none at all. Rod plays straight out of, uh, plays stay out of the house, episode one. There's an episode two, or did the cops lock you up first? <laughs> and why is that? They were talking, uh, they were walking two conflicting paths in life. So wait, so you're saying Kazama's brother was, is he part of Black Monday? A cop? Oh, okay. He used to work in what is now currently known as the Foreign Affairs Division. Whoa, only the most elite officers get in there. Elite, huh? I can see how you think so, given your history and the force. It's funny, though. Yeah, that's true, Bob. Two men who wore the same badge to protect the future of our nation. One sits in the stuffy office sipping whiskey all day. The other plies his trade on American shores. What? You don't mean... Joji and I came up through the ranks together. He's the only friend I have in this harsh world. What? You and Kazama's brother? Everything that's happened in Okinawa to this point, Joji and I orchestrated the whole thing. What do you mean, orchestrated? I formulated the plan while Joji used his organization to carry it out. Then, Joji shooting Dago, was that part of the plan too? I can't rule out the possibility. And what organization are you talking about? Is Joji still with the force? No. He left the Japanese police years ago. Then what are you talking about? He's working for the America American CIA. To be precise, he's with the Central Intelligence Agency's Far East Intelligence Division. Is he CIA? Jesus. Do you have any further questions? So Tamiya and Joji Kazama, an agent with the CIA and the younger brother of Shintaro Kazama, are working together to bring down an armed Samigali syndicate called Black Monday. But if that's the case, why did Kazama-san's brother shoot Dago? I need to know what the CIA is really after here. What should I ask about? You mentioned a favor. What do you need? Always, Bob. I need to save the lives of two men. Who are they? First is my former secretary, Toma. Former? What happened? Two weeks back, he tendered his resignation. Gizmo, do you want a treat? Gizmo! Come on, Gizmo! Come on, Gizmo! Come on, Gizmo! Gizmo! God damn it, that little shit. Gizmo! You want a treat, Gizmo? Ah, Gizmo! Brat would not come down. I'm trying to give you a treat, and you're being a brat about it. There you go. Mwah. There's your treat, buddy. Say bye. Bye. Go spend time with your mama now. He's hanging out with his mama because the other dogs are outside. Why? He learned the truth about why I was advocating the military expansion bill. And so, he abandoned me for the man now in control of the resort development. Which is who? A Yakuza. What? The head of the Tojo clan's Hakuho clan. Yoshitaka Mine. Mine? 
Oh, hold the damn phone. There's a high probability Tama will attempt to divulge her secrets to Mine, guaranteeing that somehow someone will in turn try to silence him. Someone. Is this other man you want? Is this the other man you want us, me to save? That's correct. I need to make sure he doesn't kill Toma. And who is he exactly? Joji Kazama. Ooh. Do you have any further questions? Apparently, Toma joined up with Mine once he learned what Tamiya was really after. And now, Joji Kazama is trying to silence Toma at, before he can spill any of Tom, uh, Tamiya's secrets. So it looks like I'll need to stop Joji. But why did Toma join Mine in the first place? And what does Mine have to do with the resort? I need to know more. What should I ask about? So Ka Kazama-san's brother is working as a CIA spy in Japan, of all places? Kazama-san! It's a necessary evil. The CIA has been tracking these smugglers for years. My work with Joji is another step in the larger plan to snuff out Black Monday. So you're saying Kazama's brother quit the force, joined the CIA, and is working for the Americans now? That's right. But then why is a guy like that going around putting slugs in people? That's how the CIA does things? So it was him, the man who shot Dago and Nakahara. It was Kazama-san's brother, wasn't it? I can't say. It does seem likely, though. Why would he do that? The CIA agents in this case have been given the following orders. One, track all movements Black Monday makes in regard to the Okinawa military expansion bill. Two, eliminate anything or person that puts the success of this pressing mission at risk. What do you mean, eliminate? Those who refused to sell their land, they were shot for the good of this mission? Yes, remember that Joji isn't the only CIA agent in this case, though. I believe you've already met some of the others. Wait, the men in black suits? Correct, the foreigners who assaulted you were all spies sent to the, these shores by the CIA. You were attempting to put a stop to the resort deal, after all. If that's true, then the guys who shot Kashiwaga were CIA. Why would Kazama-san's brother do that? Why? Murdering one of his own countrymen. In Joji's eyes, the CIA is the only thing that matters anymore. What do you mean? You two may be too young to remember, but 30 years ago, the nation was far more conservative. A cop with a brother in the Yakuza would be at constant risk of persecution. To say nothing of Joji's situation with Shintaro, a high-ranking Tojo officer, when the truth came to light, Joji could do nothing but leave his post. It was a dark time for him until the American government reached out. Thus, in a country where skill mattered over all else, Joji started fresh. And now he'll do anything the CIA asks. Do you have any further questions? So the CIA needed the military expansion bill to stay afloat so they could lure Black Monday out in the open. And it was under CIA orders that Joji shot Dago for refusing to take my land. I guess the CIA is almost like a second family to him now after what happened during his time in the force. That explains why he's so loyal to the U.S. government. Mine! 
So Toma left to get that land for the resort on his own, and the 